Hello and welcome everybody to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to go through how to make this beautiful design for a login screen. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you launch in, into your Visual Studio and then since we want to make a VPF app, let's go into Project Start and choose VPF. From there, you can make a um, any name you want to wish for. So for me, I'm gonna name it Login Screen and it makes mostly sense for it. And from there you launch into your thing. This is the main screen where you have your, where you design it. This is your example code. At best, I would m mostly make it vertical split, so it's you're able to follow up with whatever you make at the same time. All right. So first thing I want to make to change the title for our screen, change it into login screen, and I want our screen to be no size. So whenever you launch it, you're not going to be able to resize it or anything. It's just because it's a login screen who will just resize his login screen. And then I want it always to start up in the middle. So we're going to go for start up location and center screen. And I don't want any style for it. So window style, I want it none. So it doesn't have this kind of things. From there, I want to give it, I want to start with making border because for us it's like a sharp right now, sharp window and I don't want a sharp window, I want it this kind of beautiful edges to it and it only happens with border and from there we're gonna choose a border corner radius for 10. Between those I would make our border, give it like a background, so border, background and I'm gonna choose not a normal color to it I'm gonna go for a uh, linear gradient color and there you have to choose gradient stop I don't want only one color so okay this is gonna be only taking one thing so let's make it one single thingy and another one is for itself here we can choose our color and for me I found this kind of this kind of page that gives you a nice vibe to um, so nice palettes and combined colors which is beautiful and you can just take whatever you want and you can change your colors if you wish to of course but for me I'm gonna stick with this one it looks pretty pretty beautiful and I want to g give it an offset for 0.0, .0. the second one I'm gonna choose a different color and I want to give it an offset for 1.0. Alright, our screen doesn't really fit for a login screen because it's pretty big. So we're gonna go in here and give it a width and height. Our width, I want to give it, I would choose for 330, height 450. Of course, you can just resize however you wish for, it's just whatever really works for you. And I, since you can like go in here and put feral screen and you can see this edges, it's white, I don't want that, so you can go for your um, main background color and change it to transparent. So for now, yeah, it starts kind of look good. So from here, I want to start putting stuff in our application. So first of all, I want to use a stack panel so nothing goes above each other. And inside it, I want to put another stack panel. And I mostly myself do that just, I don't know, for a just a habit. And in this one, I'm gonna put a image and it's gonna be our logo. And for that, so you can choose the place where you have your image. You gotta put source and you can paste in it any uh, like image location you have on your computer for me I have it as assets so under a folder called assets and it's here and let's include it in our project and this is the one I want to use let's copy the location and put it in here and from there it should start appearing in our screen yeah it's huge so we gotta fix that for a moment for that, I want to give it a width for, um, let's say 110, it would work, and I'm gonna put a margin of 0 0.20 on it, so it's not always always stuck to the top or the bottom. Alright, 
so from here it looks kind of starting to give this kind of self-explanatory look and I'm gonna go for another stack panel and this stack panel I want it all the way from left to right so we're gonna give it as well a margin a margin if you don't know it's something you put values in as um, to shift and offset like from sides from above it can be you can control it as well from like it's usually zero 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 so this one from like above left right and bottom and if you put it just two numbers it's up bottom together and left right together and for now I'm gonna put it a 40 10 so yeah it's a bit shift it shifts like offsets itself from the sides with 40 and 10 from the last stack panel from here I want to put a separator so it looks a bit more genuine to me as well and for that we can choose a background color and we're gonna choose one of those from our palettes and I would be choosing this dark one because I'm gonna use it as well for both the text and the separator so we're not including so many um, colors at once and next after that okay don't forget to give the hashtag for the hexa code and after that I'm gonna use a label for our username to tell him that he gotta put a username in it and context user name I'm gonna choose font size for 18 and a foreground the same as the other one after that we're gonna use a text box it's this box that you can paste in it and write in it stuff so you can choose your username and type it in there I'm gonna um, for that as well I'm gonna give it no border because I don't want any border for that so I'm gonna paste a null type and I'm gonna give it a background that background I want the same color as the other ones yeah I mean it looks for me so far good but I want to give it a margin that margin is gonna be 0 0 10 and 0 or actually not here at the 10 I want it from here alright and then another label indicating that we are about to paste our password same thing again font size 18 and foreground as the other ones as always a hex code and this time not a text box but it's a password box so whenever you're writing something it appears as a dot makes sense for a password I think and another time a null type background same at the other. as well I want it horizontally centered so horizontal alignment center and so you put inside it some like um, content you go you make it not a self thing and you're gonna put inside it a text block this text block I wanted to include the this kind of text in it create a free small one free account and here we go you see we have this one and it looks quite general for the best purposes with that we're gonna give it a margin for 40 20 and we gonna go back for more tweaks we're gonna give because I want to change the color so we can go back either here we change this color or we can just ourselves modify it from here for ground and we copy paste the other colors because we want it as well working with the rest of our program so far it's looking good this one I want to give it as well a margin so let's turn it to two numbers and I want to 10 10 and as well this one a 10 10 so here we go this is our final application and if you like it don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and if you have any kind of suggestions for a next video you can drop it in the comments below I will be um, next doing next video a um, video about functionalities to this login screen and don't forget that subscribe button I appreciate it